Hello everyone, Griffin here, and today we are in War of the Gods. Let's search for an opponent. Okay, that was quick. Someone level 20. Let's give thumbs up and let's see what we can do. My Stargazer is fully trained, but only two stars because I think that in January she will be in one of the shops. So there's no need for me to use my almighty soul stones. Let's see what is my opponent going to do. I have a, a feeling that my opponent is disconnected. So I start with these two because uh, yeah, my opponent is disconnected. When I see either a middle uh, middle liner or a back liner that can be in f uh, behind Master Mage, I usually like to start with Turtle Fighter and Holy Priestess because I can transform. Well, with those two, I can do a, either to counter Master Mage or some other kind of thing, it's not that hard. So with this I will do... I don't think I will need... I think this is gonna be really easy. Well obviously my opponent is not here. But anyway, the first four heroes that I choose here, it's, uh, it's a team that I've been using a lot for my first team in any War of the God fight has been working pretty well for me to be honest I, it's not as strong as the other two teams that I'm using but has been working consistently with the exception against uh, very strong skins like a combination of Cleric Arcane Sapper or things like that Red has been doing kinda nice. I know this this fight is not really uh, a test because this team was completely random but just so you know the first four uh, in the last spot I can do, do a lot of things I can do well Thunder Beast, why no? I can do a Stargazer I can do Treasure Hunter I can do Depth's voice, the new Depth's voice. She changed a lot. I can even do uh, Commando Cupid skin, which by the way I just bought for 60,000 gems. If I don't see anything on my opponent's side that uh, changes sides, I can use also Wind Priest as the fifth hero on that team. And this is how I usually start whenever I have one uh, I only have to select one hero usually mechanical Barbie is a nice choice because you can fit it in a lot of things you can fit it in, in an offensive team if okay let's see uh, okay it's not that much of a problem so yeah uh, you can fit it in you can fit Mechanical Barbie in an offensive team, in a defensive team, in a Master Mage team. You can do a lot of things with her, so she's very versatile. It's a good idea for the first hero to choose. And by the way, uh, Dead Mage uh, with the red books. I'm, I'm still doing the red books of Dead Mage. I just finished the ones from for Shadow Reaper. But the red books for that mage are kind of impressive to be honest. Like she's a different hero with and without the books. The red books. Uh, the same for Shadow Reaper. Like Shadow Reaper was strong already. 
But now my Shadow Reaper has an extra 150. Uh, ignore magic resistance. So she can work pretty well. Oh, and by the way, in my opinion, one of the scariest things in the game is an arcane sapper with the ultimate of mechanical Barbie. That's why if my opponent is not using cleric and my opponent is using at least two magical heroes, I, with the exception of a stargazer, of course, I will definitely use arcane sapper with my mechanical Barbie team. Those two work great in those situations. All right, uh, let's search for an opponent, but I'm gonna quit this fight. Okay, we found someone. So lucky you, my friend, I'm gonna quit. I want to stay at level 20 just to get my nine wins daily easier. Like I've been getting to to legend without using my skin trials, like it's not really hard and I've been fighting in legend just I wanted to try without the skin trials and I realized that I actually can uh, it, because there's a lot of people in legend that have a lot of skins but that don't know very much of what they're doing but on the other hand that there can be people that do not have skins but that really know how to play, so it all depends on the kind of person. I see. Gonna do this and this. And let's see what my opponent is going to do. So a spell swordsman is pretty much, a spell swordsman there is pretty much telling me that I should not use physical. Uh, I'm gonna use you and there's a lot of frontliners so actually thunder beast is n doesn't look like a bad idea my opponent goes with arcane sapper good job on my opponent's part because that will okay now and i'm gonna choose you i guess all i need is my turtle fighter to distract uh, what's it called? Flame Dancer for 20 seconds or something like that and I'll be golden so you saw a lot of frontliners so Thunder Beast already did a lot of damage and as I said 20 seconds it's all I needed for, of my turtle fighter to control the the front line of my enemy so as you can see it can be really dangerous if you use uh, a team with a lot of front liners when your opponent has poison fang which can poison them all uh, you can also use thunder beast against them because uh, the boards is amazing and well the control for the frontliner from Desert Eagle is actually really really good uh, I'm gonna go with this so those uh, when you have two spaces starting with these two is actually a good idea why? because you can do master match you can do some physical team you can do some Mixed team with these two control plus damage and healing, you can do a lot of things with this. And from what I see on my opponent's side, I'm gonna go with Master Mage. Careful. Initially, in the. Um, what do you call it? Uh, wait a minute, I'm gonna use you. So initially in the formation Time Soldier is in front of Master Mage but when Time Soldier stops to launch his initial attack he gets behind but if your opponent takes too long to kill Master Mage he can get in front of Master Mage again 
So you only you can only use time solder in a master mage team when you are kinda sure that your master mage will die relatively quickly. Like there. And that was easy. So I know these fights were not exactly super competitive, but I just wanted to tell you a little bit of what my uh, thought process is in the different fights, either using my initial team, which is... Uh, I, I, I can change it, but when I see some generic combination of heroes on my opponent's side of the field, there's no need. And how can you use a Master Mage? How can you use a Magical Offensive Team uh, with Mechanical Barbie? You can also use Master Mage with Mechanical Barbie. You can just replace Time Solid with Mechanical Barbie in the team that I just did, and that works. Um, good substitutes are you saw Dead Mage and. Scarless Blame, in my opinion, is an excellent substitute. Uh, if the occasion calls for it, you can also use Stargazer. You can you can use a lot of things. Just be careful, Machinist, only if it's fully trained. Okay, let's buy you, let's buy you, let's buy you, and let's buy you. Huh, thank you. Alright. Uh, this was just a short video, guys. I just wanted to let you know that I'm not dead. <laughs> and anyway, thanks a lot for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe, comment, and share with your friends. And I will see you next time. Griffin out.